It is the 20th of the 11th, 2011. Got a little story I want to read to you. Architect of Fukushima Daiichi Reactor Number 3, the former president of Sega University, had an interview on the 17th of November, 2011. In this interview, he admitted TEPCO's explanation does not make sense, and that the China Syndrome is inevitable. He stated that considering eight months have passed since 311 without any improvement, it is ine inevitable that the melted fuel went out of the container vessel and sank underground, which is called China Syndrome. He added, if the fuel reaches an underground water vein, it will cause contamination of underground water, which is already happening, soil contamination, and sea contamination, which is already happening. Moreover, if the underground water vein keeps being heated for a long time, a massive hydrovolcanic explosion will be caused. He also warned radioactive debris is spreading in the Pacific. Tons of debris have reached the Marshall Islands as of, as of uh, the 15th of November, 2011. Um, that's all I have for you tonight. Enjoy while you can. Thanks, everybody.